think of when you hear Mario All-Stars? One of the first things I think of is the Mario Kart franchise, which features the Mario cast participating in wild kart races through the Mushroom Kingdom and surrounding areas. The most recent installment in the series, Mario Kart 8, introduced the Koopalings as playable racers and allowed players to race upside down in anti-gravity mode. Other than the Koopalings, however, I wasn't all that impressed with the new racers in Mario Kart 8. Pink Gold Peach was completely and utterly unnecessary, and we definitely didn't need another baby princess. Don't even get me started on the DLC. This ain't Super Smash Bros, it's Mario Kart. But I have to wonder, what characters will they add for Mario Kart 9, which will ideally be on the next handheld system? I'll list five characters I can see potentially being added, and five characters I actually want to see added. So now on with the predictions. First appearing in New Super Mario Bros. U, Nabbit would steal items from the Toads, forcing Mario and friends to chase him down. He later appears as a playable character in New Super Luigi U, invincible to all enemy attacks. Nabbit has also been a DLC character for Mario Golf World Tour and a stage hazard in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I think he may have a decent shot at appearing in Mario Kart 9, and I honestly wouldn't mind his addition since he's a unique, recent character. Goombas have been around forever. I'm actually surprised one hasn't been playable in Mario Kart yet. They've definitely left their mark on the series. Super Mario Bros. 2 and Super Mario Sunshine are the only main Mario games not to feature them. I find it likely that a Goomba will be added into Mario Kart 9 as a newcomer. After all, I can't be the only one who finds the odd Koopa Troopa has been there since the beginning but not Goomba. Despite the fact that I'd prefer a species rep such as Goombella. As much as I hate to say it, I think they'll try to add another baby into the next one. And if they do, I find Baby Wario to be the most likely. His only appearance so far has been in Yoshi's Island DS. The only other baby option I can think of is Bowser, but Baby Bowser looks nearly identical to Bowser Jr. and thus would cause confusion. I really don't have anything more to say on the matter. Clones. Clones everywhere! Tanuki Luigi. Yes, I think Nintendo would be stupid enough to do this. And out of all the Luigi skins they could choose, which include the likes of Mr. L the Green Thunder, they'll probably choose a boring power-up that doesn't even differ in personality from Luigi himself. With Tanuki Mario as DLC in Mario Kart 8, I wouldn't put it past them to add a Luigi version too. If not Tanuki, then they'd probably add Fire, Ice, or Boomerang Luigi. Despite the fact that I'd rather see Mr. L, of course. Here's one clone I actually might want to play as a few times, just because he at least looks rather unique. It's Meowser, the cat form of Bowser, the final boss in Super Mario 3D World. Honestly, I would have preferred him to Cat Peach in Mario Kart 8. His battle in Super Mario 3D World is memorable enough for me to at least be neutral to his inclusion, though I would still prefer Dark Bowser. Also, I love his boss theme. Now I'll talk about characters that may or may not have a decent chance, but that I really want to see anyway. Kamek has been around for so long I'm surprised he hasn't appeared yet either. First appearing in the original Yoshi's Island, Kamek was planned to be a playable character in Mario Kart 64, but was taken out for unknown reasons. I've always been a fan of magic users, and Kamek has a personality that makes him hard to dislike, at least to me. Oddly enough, I first noticed this in a game I absolutely hate, Paper Mario Sticker Star. The 
personality carried over in Mario & Luigi Dream Team, in which he disguised himself as Princess Peach to trick Mario & Luigi. Like I said, Kamek's hard to hate, and if I had to choose one mainstream Mario staple to add to Mario Kart, it would probably be him. We have Peach, we have Daisy, we have Rosalina, but what about the original girl, Pauline? Matter of fact, outside various remakes, cameos, and the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, which has been dead since the first DS one, she's never appeared since the original Donkey Kong games. What a shame. She came before Peach and gets little to no recognition for it. Even while Mario and Donkey Kong get to race, Pauline is left to appear solely in a now mediocre series. I've seen people saying Pauline should represent the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, but I think she should be added to represent the original Donkey Kong, since DK himself seems to represent Donkey Kong Country. I think it's time we get a villain who isn't affiliated to Bowser, Wario, or Donkey Kong. And who better to use than the most recent Mario & Luigi baddie, Antasma. This evil Bat King was one of the main antagonists of Mario & Luigi Dream Team on the 3DS. He could turn into an actual bat, which I call Batasma, and even give Bowser more strength. Unfortunately, Bowser pulled a Dementio on him before he got much chance to shine. So why not give Antasma the love he deserves by adding him into the next Mario Kart? Heck, he could even come with a Batasma glider. Providing a voice for him would be a cinch since he shares a voice actor with Donkey Kong. He's been in one Mario Kart game before, but not as a playable character. Toadsworth was tasked with driving the parade car in Mario Kart Double Dash, but he hasn't been seen in a single Mario Kart game since then. Toadsworth is one of my favorite Toad characters. I absolutely loathe the generic Toads, but Toadsworth is pretty cool. He debuted in Super Mario Sunshine, and has since appeared in Mario Party 7, New Super Mario Bros., every Mario & Luigi game, and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. He's frequently helped with the tutorials in the Mario & Luigi games. I think he's deserving of a spot on Mario Kart 9's roster. He's the only Toad in the main series that I actually like, after all. I know you saw this coming. Hi. Come on now. Naturally, I'd have my favorite Mario character of all time on this list. Why would I not include Fawful? Ever since his debut in Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, he's had a crazy big fan base. So big, that he broke standard Mario RPG traditions and appeared in the next two Mario & Luigi games. His biggest appearance was in Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, in which he was the primary antagonist and a damn good one. Not to mention he's fucking hilarious. Everything he says is pure gold. While he may not get as many chances as spurt one-liners in Mario Kart, he can still keep his most famous quotes such as and Secrets! I don't care how much hate I get for it, I will never stop supporting Fawful for future Mario Kart games until he is finally in. My other choices may change according to what's currently popular or recent, but Fawful will always be my number one pick for Mario spin-offs because honestly, he went beyond what the average RPG exclusive character did. He earned two extra appearances because of his fanbase, and I think that makes him the perfect choice for the first representative for the Mario RPGs in Mario spin-offs. So there you go, five predictions and five wants. Other notes should be that I would like them to start with Mario Kart Wii's roster as a base, add PD Piranha, and go from there. If they do decide to make DLC for the next game, or even more for Mario Kart 8 for that matter, I only want one thing, no more guest characters. I believe there are too many deserving Mario Universe characters to be adding guest characters already.